Hi, greetings from Wildlife Reserve Singapore. My name is Marcus, Chief HR Officer. The past year for WRS has been a challenging one. Like many companies in the hospitality, in the attraction industry, we are adversely affected with the closure of international borders. Employees welfare and training has always been our priority. We believe engaged employees are happier and more productive at the workplace. Two initiatives that we have put in place this year for this pandemic is a Mandai Cares Hardship Fund. So this fund is actually self-funded whereby staff and board members actually contribute to this fund to help relieve staff of any financial pressure. The second initiative that we have for staff is basically a free counselling uh, services that is actually to help staff with their mental well-being. COVID-19 has certainly changed the way we work. The office-based staff are actually working from home. For our operation staff, there are some staff that has been redeployed to new function area. For your F&B staff, we have actually deployed them to do park operations. And with that, they have actually learned new skills. This Labor Day, we did uh, something very interesting as a management team. The senior management actually took on the management in action day and went down to become a zookeeper, a F&B staff for a day. And the reason for that is to understand what the operation staff are going through, to be with them and to hear them out, and also to motivate and encourage them. One and a half years on, looking back, I think we are really proud that our workforce has remained very resilient. We are really honoured and excited to be shortlisted for this award. This is really a team effort and a recognition of all our hard work. To the tourism sector, be true to your vision, mission and values. Be authentic and be visible to your troops and help them to navigate through the storm. Hi, uh, my name is Freda. I am 28 years old this year. So right now, I'm currently a uh, Senior Guest Service Executive at Quincy Hotel Singapore. So what I basically do aside from front desk duties is also the duty manager role as well. So during COVID, Quincy Hotel actually transitioned to a government facility. During this period of time, the most challenging thing that we actually faced was that we were unable to meet the guests face to face. So how we actually overcome this obstacle is to make them feel at home. During their birthdays, we actually pack little gifts for them to wish them happy birthday and all of this is basically to make everyone feel like it's a home away from home. I am providing a service for everyone not because I want to gain something out of it but to provide a service that I myself wish to receive. What I love about tourism is to be able to meet different types of people from all over the world and you know to be able to immerse into their cultures and experiences. And aside from that, I'm very proud of my own country and I would like to show to everyone uh, our unique feature that we have such as the food, the culture, attractions as well as the multi-racial lifestyle. So I feel great to be recognised for this award mainly because uh, it shows that my hard work that I've done over the years has been recognised and appreciated by everyone. So to my fellow frontliners in the tourism sector, if I have one word for you is to have courage and take that one step out of your comfort zone, embracing the changes that we all face. <laughs>